Marco Rubio was in Vegas today, Las Vegas. He came in for his 44th birthday party, and the uh, media was all over this, big-time media. They uh, were all over this. The story was Marco Rubio met with Rick Harrison, a uh, star of the Pawn Stars show, TV show, yeah. So Marco Rubio came in, and he met with a TV personality show, from the Pawn Stars, and that was what the media was all over. It was just great news. Even though he only spent about 20 minutes there. He spent 20 minutes with Rick Harrison, and my sources say off he went to see Sheldon Elderson, the real man in town. So it's amazing. It's a total news blackout. Total news blackout that he was here to see Sheldon Elderson. And um, so the big-time media is all over this fluff story, but two days before Rubio got here, these are the chemtrails flying over top of Las Vegas, yes, chemtrails, unbelievable chemtrails on top of Las Vegas, and not once, not once have I ever heard the media talk about what could it possibly be causing these chemtrails, what is the chemicals in these trails, and why are they being sprayed on us? But the chemtrails, that's not the story today. The story is how the media misleads the public. The media, all day long, I mean, we're talking morning, lunchtime, and evening news. All they had was Marco Rubio meeting with Rick Harrison, of course, the TV star. And they made it seem like he was there for hours and hours and hours when he was only there for 20 minutes. Yes. He was at the Pawn Stars Pawn Shop for 20 minutes. And then, of course, it was and then a total media blackout at that point. Nobody knows where he went to, but my sources say he showed up at, at Sheldon Alderson's casino, and that's where he'll be staying, and that's where he'll be talking to, and that's the man who he's asking money for. Now, here I say, this is what I'm talking about, a total media blackout, not one word from any news channel at all that Marco Rubio is in Las Vegas to meet one of the richest mans in the world, and he's came here to grovel for money just about a few weeks ago. Uh, Rubio was in competition for Elderson's primary. They call it the Elderson primary, where the Republicans come here and they try to they grovel under Elderson's feet trying to be the winner of the primary. And whoever the winner is, Elderson supports and gets all the billions of dollars. And that's what Marco Rubio is looking for, billions of dollars from this man here because he's very, very rich and he's very, very powerful.